Hello, going to do a little walk next to the canal, just to the, uh, I think it's the west of Beverly. It's just the town in which I live in East Yorkshire. It's a very nice canal, but I'm not sure I would uh, recommend anybody swims in it as such. Oh, that chain's not usually there. Now, this is only a two mile walk. And it's quite samey. I pretty much follow the banks of this canal. Uh, pretty much for about just under a mile. And then I go all the way around this field, which is basically a moorland, a bog, and back up this sort of rough part here. Uh, never any boats on here. It leads towards the river Hull. You take a sharp left after it meanders through the countryside. And uh, I think this actually is the River Hull. And eventually goes out into the Humber Estuary, which you can either go one way and in past Hull inland, or the other way out into the North Sea and onto Holland and France. This whole land here is what's, uh, it's called common land. Now I don't fully understand what common land is, but I do know that it's kind of protected in that uh, big companies can't come along and start building all over it. It's for the people, that's me. Uh, and there's some rule about cattle and on here there is cattle uh, at various times of the year. I was here a couple of days ago and there was horses. I don't know if there, there'll be somebody's horses, I'm sure. But there's quite a lot of horses, like a big herd of horses and ponies running around over there. As I say, in winter, this is quite, uh, it's not so pleasant. I mean, it's pleasant if you stay to this, these paths, but over there in the bog, it gets quite muddy. And I like going over there, so because uh, nobody, nobody else goes over there. So uh, I go where people don't. That's my motto. But there's a big turn here to the right. And then we get into slightly rougher, rougher ground, not massively so, slightly. And uh, on the homeward bound. As I say, this is just two miles about. So next to nothing, but enough to get you, you know, get you a good, uh, I don't know, 5,000, 7,000 steps in. And that's 5,000, 7,000 steps you wouldn't have done if you stayed in front of your computer and played computer games or, or done what I've been doing, which is making websites all day. Here we go, here's the path down the hill. So you can imagine what this looked like, I don't know, a month ago. Virtually unpassable. Tractors and cattle and horses and people and dogs. So here we go. Turning, we've, turned, we've turned away now from the water and we're on a little bit of, I don't know what you'd call this, still common land. I bet they'd love to build on here, wouldn't they? Well, you can't. I have to think how lucky I am to have this just on my doorstep. Although I drove up to this spot, it's only like a 20 minute walk. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool having this. I can't decide whether to go straight ahead or straight down that side. I think I'll go straight down this side, stay in the sun. I don't know, I don't really know that area. So I'm gonna cut down this way instead. And it gets pretty uneven further down, but let's, uh, let's do it. This ditch here, I don't really know what they're called. I think they're called drains. I could be mistaken. I don't know if it's like the natural water table or not. I know that they like to feed water into there from the fields and whatever. So I like to drain the water table into the drain. Sometimes I don't know why I ask you guys questions because I, I kind of work out the answers myself and shouldn't do that really because 
that's what comment sections are for. I'm putting on this out of breathness just to, to dramatize it. It is very boggy out on those, uh, whatever that is. I know I've been out there. I'd love to get the old uh, metal detector out on that actually. I bet I'd be allowed to. Because this, you can guarantee, has been untouched. I don't think they cut it. So that'd be quite interesting to get the old metal detector out there, wouldn't it? Hmm. Maybe that's another video another day. Nobody ever goes out onto this because it's so boggy. No tractors drive across it that I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good one. Get right out in the middle. That's, that's a... That's a good idea. Is it, is it odd to like to be on your own? Maybe, maybe for a little bit. It's, it's absolutely perfectly fine. You see over there the green bank that I walked along. You can't really see it in this camera, but it's just that strip of green going all the way along there. That's where I walked earlier. Past that white house. All the way down here to this bottom corner where I'm heading. Right now. There's a pipe entrance there, I can show you. And it goes all the way down here. Pops out here, not very attractive. Big plastic pipe, that's letting all the water coming off this bog come down and drain away into the drain. These are the trees that run alongside the, the drain. I absolutely love them. I don't know what they are, but they're, I think they're quite old, but quite small. And up there, there's a box I noticed in this old tree here. I'm not quite sure what that box is, but there's a few nests. There's, I can see three nests up in these trees. There's one there. I like these trees don't seem to get much bigger than this. You can see they're just uh, coming into leaf now, look. We're still in spring, but uh, not for much longer, I don't think. Summer's coming, I think it's gonna be a hot one. Let's get back out into the open sunlight. It's easier to traverse. Whew. There's a little bridge here, very heavily uh, uh, sort of, churned up mud in it, dried, and I can see it just goes through to another little bridge. Now, I was, I was flying my drone around here yesterday in that big field over there, or that other stretch of common land over there, and I know that what, what's over there to, to, to a certain extent. So what I'm gonna do is go over there and just show you a couple of little interesting things that exist over there. Why not? See what I mean by churned up mud? This is, tractor wheels, but also all the, uh, this, this is kind of a bottleneck for all traffic, including cattle traffic and horse traffic. So look at the mess this was, this, I mean, you can you imagine trying to get through this when it's all mud? It's a nightmare. So this little bridge goes over the drain and then we're into a little field where the electricity pylons are, are going through. And this path leads to another bridge. I can see over there, so. Let's, let's see what we can see. You all right, you all right up there? Yeah? It's always nice to see, even in the uh, remotest of locations, the youth find a spot to express themselves in. Oh, there's a warning sign on this bridge. Let's see what we have to be careful of. Uh, three ton. I don't think I quite weigh three ton. This is Figum Clough Bridge. So this larger stretch of water just here is a clough. You did not know that, nor did I. There you go, that's what a clough looks like. I wonder if there's any fishies. The water is very clear. 
not really swimming material or boating because of the weeds. Let's just cut the camera for a second. Hello there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Two ladies there. They just said, hello. Lovely day. I said, it is lovely, isn't it? And then they carried on talking. I thought we were having a conversation for a minute. Oh, I was deluded. If we look down here, you can see the cattle have all gone down to the water's edge and used it to drink from the cloth. Maybe to eat fish. Do cows eat fish? Horses? Do cows eat horses? So now I just follow this cloth. I love that I know it's called a cloth now. I just follow the cloth down, all the way back to the car. And that field over there, or it's just further down, is where I flew, flew my drone yesterday. Now I didn't bring my, uh, cam uh, my phone with me. Well, I did, but it didn't fit. It's a long story, but I couldn't use my phone to reference the flying. So I just flew it with just the controller and no, uh, not using the camera on the drone at all. And uh, it worked, I didn't know you could do that. So quite interesting little experiment. It's nice to learn to fly the drone a little bit without relying on, you know, staring at the, the monitor all the time. Actually getting a sense of moving it around the sky and keeping your eye on it and how far away it is and how high it is. And yeah, it's highly recommended if you've got a drone. Fly it without using the, don't use your, uh, your, your uh, screen, don't use the camera. Just practice controlling it. So this cloth is heading down towards the canal. And where it goes after that, I'm not really sure. There's a horse over here coming straight towards me. I don't know if it thinks I'm a farmer because I've got a staff. He's coming pretty close. Oh, he's coming over there. Hello. 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 Hello there. Come on. You've got a little pal following me. You can see, which is kind of weird. Hello there. You good boy. I don't know if these are wild or not. Amazing. Very odd that a horse would come right up to you like that. I really, wasn't really sure what to do. They're pretty big. <laughs> I'm such a coward. That was cool. Came all the way from the, there's probably two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, it's about 20 or 30 horses in here. Just roaming around freely. Fantastic. There's a development at the cloth. There's a big pipe. Now I do know that just over those bushes, there's nothing. Actually, there must be something. Should we do a cheeky little explore? And then uh, there's water pouring out somewhere. Oh, here we go. Am I allowed to go across here? So over in the middle of the cloth. I don't feel very safe on this bridge, I've got to be honest with you. It's not the safest bridge I've ever traversed. Well, I don't know why there's water pouring out there or where it's come from. But there's a big, looks like a winding hole here. But I don't think it is. Oh, there's a, there's a building. Some sort of building. Ooh. Ooh. Who knows? Who really knows? What's happening? Oh, look. What is happening here? Oh, he's cleaning it. Over here is a very nice little bridge. I think this goes underneath the canal, you know. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's, let's find out. If I go over to this bridge and pop my head over the other side, look at the level of those people on the bridge and where the level of the water. I'm pretty sure he either comes to a dead end there 
or it goes underneath the canal. In fact, I know it does go underneath the canal. Yeah. Canals at the same, le same level as me. Yeah, there's the bridge. And there's the canal. That's very cool. The Beverly Beck Heritage Walk. This lock opened in 1803. Trade was booming here. Barley, linseed, coal, animal hides. Oh, it says here, look, history detective. You're next to the brick aqueduct, which carries the beck over Beverly and Barmston drain. The archways that support the aqueduct underneath the beck are lower in the middle. Why do you think they were built that way? Think about the shape of a boat's hull. Lower in the middle. Right, well, that concludes my little walk here around Beverly Beck, it turns out. Um, it's a lovely little spot to come to, just on the periphery edge of Beverly. I can see people are starting to arrive in their cars to walk their dogs, but it's a very nice spot. And not a lot of people come here because it is a little bit of a walk away. Highly recommended. I'd love to get a boat on this canal here. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, comment, all the usual things. Uh, thank you for watching, if you've stuck with it to the very end. And uh, till next video, take care of yourselves and bye bye. Ah, a silver submarine. I was not expecting to see a silver submarine around here. We all live in a silver submarine. Incredible. It looks quite abandoned though. How bizarre.